Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and welcome back to Transport Fever, European Free Play Edition. And in the last episode, we got a new shipping line set up over here in Grays, or rather on the tip of Grays. We have this oil well, which is now hauling or being hauled the crude oil over here to a refinery. We have a connection running from here up to Dursley and we have also a line running into Grays. So Grays will start receiving fuel as it is right now and Dursley as well. So that is nice. And I was talking about trying to get another set of goods going off in that direction because we did also set up a line running over here to Dursley with the Wilhelm 1. We just got that set up and I would like to have some goods going back the other direction. And I just want to check some things here. It's that in there, that in there. All right, about that. That's a little bit annoying there. Yeah, about that. And that... Really? You want to prioritize that kind of a route. Yeah, about that. How is this route looking? This is relatively straight and it does look like they are following their path. So yeah, that's about that. Although this... Why? Why are you deviating so much? Anyway, not much I can do about that. With that said, if some prospective modder is interested in creating some waypoints for ships, that would be nice. <laughs> Basically a buoy, which uh, gets placed in the water and acts as a waypoint. So what you can do, essentially. Uh, so for this, I might set up a buoy right here, which means that the line will come and just go around the buoy. Same thing with this, so that if the ships are indeed following the route, they'll take more efficient routes. That would be nice, uh, because this kind of looks like a rather odd routing. Why the ship would go this way and then go that way? Why wouldn't it go this way? Although that said, it kind of does this... Yeah, about that. But it is what it is. It could just be the pathfinding with the the C grid. How basically the navigable waters is in a grid here. So about that. Anyway, let's get to building something. We have 289k in the bank. We already have a line mostly set up to supply construction materials. Dursley over here to Salterton as well as West Malling because we do have that line that can also deliver construction materials. And the more goods we can get on our ships, the better. Since of course they have multiple compartments, which makes them all the better. So what we want to do is put on those. We want to get the stone being supplied here. We want to bring it into here and then we want to extend a line out to here so we can basically one direction and then going back in two directions and then we can already utilize that line there. Now if I was smart I would have built a larger truck station. Yeah about that. Well if I was thinking ahead I would have built a, a larger truck station. Yeah, about that. Anyway, we are going to bring this like that. And like that. Over to there. Now, we are just going to put a second one of these. 
because reasons. Although that said... Oh, we can upgrade it to that. Sure. <laughs> nice. And now we are going to want to run a road. Uh, we need to go off in that direction. It would be nice if you could rotate these. Just rotate them. Alright, I'm going to want to go this way. Although I don't want to spend too much money. Uh, we're actually going to want to go off in that direction. No, I don't want to do that. So now we just need to buy a road vehicle, horse wagon, select a line, a new line. We're going to want to go from is the quarry. Dursley quarry. And this is going to be stone, so I'm going to color it white. And we are going to borrow 500k. And we are going to buy horse wagon. And new line from here, over to here, and this is RF Durs Lee Conrad. And there we go, so we got that set up, and pretty much it becomes just a matter of putting vehicles on the line when we need them. Although, what I kind of want to do. Yeah, we're going to throw a truck station over here, or road depot. Let's speed things up. We got 28 up 60. You got 13, 14 units. What I'm going to do is we're going to buy a Zoraster. Raise oil and fuel. Want to ramp up the frequency. Of course, by the time it gets there, this one will probably have pulled in. 273k in the bank. We have 6 million in loans. And you are the Sultraton de Dursley. It'll take some time for that line to pick up demand. And what I might do eventually 
is set up a line doing the same thing, raised to there with the other ship. And you are not interested in producing. We'll have to wait until April 1st. Check over here. How's our farm doing? The icon's on. So far, it is on a frequency of 24 seconds. We have 30 seconds here. Yeah, this is struggling to make money. 134k here, which is nice. We take a look at the finances. So yeah, 170k off of 40k in running costs. That's over a 4 to 1 ratio right there. This is a 4 to 1 ratio there. This is over a 4 to 1 ratio right there. So yeah, we are making some decent money on that line. Any truck line that has to go and haul in both directions. And we have the quarry that is producing. So what we want to do is start putting on some horse wagons. Ours just the quarry. back actually that's fine Dursley quarry Dursley quarry line is on a 93 second frequency that is fine and you you can just go you can go as well let's buy another one the quarry and we got a lot of oil wow let's buy another couple for drift sleep oil transfer and what I'm going to want to do is drift sleep con mat Conmat. That one's on its way back. Buy another one for Jersey Conmat. And let's buy another for our Jersey Oil Transfer. Now that I am running multiple lines into the same one, what we want to do, Upper Dursley, we are going to lock that and lock that. We might as well let this load if available. And we want to change this to be uh, Dursley Refinery. We're gonna buy two more horse wagons for the Dursley Conmat. And we got 21 stone here. We're 
going to buy a couple more for our Dursley stone. And over here we got some combat showing up. Nice. That is producing. 83 units. We're going to buy a few more horse wagons for Dursley oil transfer. All of that said, now it's uh, pretty much Dursley freight transfer. We have 180k in the bank. And uh, we had 412 in new vehicles. Yeah, most of our losses are pretty much just um, new vehicles. We had some construction costs. Six million in loans. 629k in running costs for water. Versus 351k in maintenance costs. 906 on 406. Yeah, it's about 2 to 1. And what I'd like to do is hop over to here. That is doing all right. How are we doing down here? We have 13 units, so what I'd like to do is buy a couple more and the mulling farm. This is up to a production of 472. There's potential for 512. There are 24 sitting here. Things seem to be rolling smoothly. We just need profit. Yep. How about that now these lines what I can do is just set those to load up available and we're just going to check our lines just the combat just the freight transfer it's fine this we can just yeah we don't really care West Mulling Farm Salterton Farm that is fine that is fine and that is fine It is 1854. We have 305k in the bank. It is October 31st. We lost uh, another chunk of money there. And yeah, we are struggling to make a profit to the point where we can actually start paying off our uh, loans. We've been financing this entire endeavor with loans and 18 units there this is upgraded nice and we got a ton of fuel sitting here Let's buy a couple horse wagons, Dursley Freight. And we are going to buy a couple horse wagons for over here. There's the quarry. Now, one concern is the distance for our newest line, 137 minutes, wow. <laughs> um, yeah, about that. We are going to need. Yeah, that's. Um, where are you right now? 
Ah, you are getting very close. Hmm. All right, about that. Um. What I might want to do is put another Wilhelm on the line. Sultan into Dursley. If we don't get any good sitting on that line, that distance is definitely probably going to be the problem there. So we're going to want to reduce that frequency, although 68 minute frequency. And it is January 1855. Yeah, we might have to just put a few ships on the line. So this thing has a top speed of 20 kilometers an hour. And this has a top speed of 20 kilometers an hour. We only have $291 in the bank. Wow. Are we going to at all, at some point, get into actual profitability? If we don't spend for a few days, for a few years, we just might. We have 90k in loan interest. Income's up to 122k. Running costs 123. So we're just breaking even on the running costs. We're Paying up to 145k in property maintenance. We had 1.32 million dollars in income. 905 dollars of that is, of course, water income. And we had less than a two to one profit ratio on that. 414k on 60, 165k in running costs. That is a two and a half to one roughly it's not quite three to one but our road vehicles are definitely taking care of things horse wagon we don't have enough money certain month happened can we there we go let's buy one there's some quarry Let's buy another one. It will be, of course, some time before the first set of vehicles do come around to uh, do upgrades on. And that's on a production of 128, limit of 400. We have 59.8k in the bank, down to 11.9k. Alright, so we spent 27.5k in new vehicles. We have over 100k in income of profit. Our property maintenance is 48k for now. Loan interest 90k, so yeah, about that. We'd be breaking even on the year as it stands if we weren't, if we didn't buy those two new road vehicles. And we were making a 46k profit on the year. At this point in time, what I might want to do is just accelerate things. Maybe go off screen and maybe make some money to pay back some of my loans. Although at the end of the month, that drops another 70k. Of running costs, I think. Roughly. But we are making a profit overall.
it is May. We're actually on track to make about a million dollars this year. Although with that said, we could get some big dumps of money coming from our ships. Maybe not. Um, yeah, about that. We got lots of fuel sitting here. How is Dursley? 54% supplied. We need more vehicles on the Dursley freight line. <laughs> That's where our money is. 22 fuel sitting there. And I suspect this is down to a 57 minute frequency. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's get another Wilhelm. And Salterton to Dursley. Try to bring that frequency down. It's a thirty eight minute frequency. Yeah, that line is probably going to be losing us a fair bit of money unless we can get some goods flowing on the line. Hmm. Yeah, this is a high risk here. I could if I wanted to convert it over to just Hull on uh, the other lines. Sultraton to Dursley. Over here we have six units, although that said, yep, this picked up 30. And we're cutting down the amount of fuel accumulating here. Let's buy a couple more horse wagons for the combat line. I can see this easily being a fairly decent uh, yeah, port for our shipping. If we did put another could I Nope, I'd probably have to put it somewhere over here. It'd be nice if we could fit another one in here. Actually, I'd probably put it over here. Or maybe over here. We went left. I'd probably put one over here just to give those ships something like right there. Hundred and forty five K in the bank. And that's carrying what back 41 fuel. And we're out of stone here. This is collapsed. Conmat's only 18%. What's going on? 
going on here? We got 16 stored. Do you want to go? And production is back up. How are we doing here? 400. And nothing on the Dursley line. This is only down to a 28 minute frequency. Might have to scrap that line. So I really can't be losing 75k on the line. 145k there. This is losing us money. Oh no. Bother. No. This one here. Nope, you can't be hauling. Same thing with that one there. Go back to depot. Go back to depot. Please tell me that this isn't hasn't uh, it has taken some grain. Stock. Well, don't just give me grain, give me freaking livestock. Well, produce, produce. told you to go back on the line. So our trucks are basically running empty right now. All because we put a truck, two trucks on the line that tip grain and this like, oh, we can now supply grain. I wanted to avoid having multiple units of uh, cargo both grain and livestock this better not downgrade and this better not have issues it has no potential for seriously It is 1856 and we got a ton of fuel sitting here let's buy some horse wagons and you have 
production of 472. You have a, you see a potential of 632 coming from. Okay, and 608 potential for fuel. This is down to a 23 minute frequency. What I might just do then we are going to change this so it no longer goes to Salterton. comes in here. Why is it doing that? Seriously, game? That brings that down to 10 minute frequency. All right, so what I'm probably going to do then We are going to run a cargo line, possibly West Mulling over to here. And we're just going to hop it. Which means I'm going to have to build another harbor. What I could do is put it right about here. build it. Basically freight can come in like this, go out like that. One thing I could also do is build one like this to go out that way. And what we're going to want to do is connect up actually within range of that. That is nice. That should be within range of that. Yep. And so then what I'm going to want to do is... Yeah, we're probably going to set up a second harbor right here to run from Grays to West Mauling. You, have you started producing? Yes, you have. Well, get me some livestock and I'll ship it. 60... All right. We went into the negatives. Overall, we're losing money on the year. We made $1.3 million, so it was pretty much a bit the same as last year, although our road income went up possibly due to addition of the construction materials. Unfortunately, it does appear that that's, that's accumulating. That has a full 60. We have another ship coming in. next one's over there what I'm going to do do I yeah let's do it 
add it to that line. You have 74 units, so there will definitely be enough for it to pick up. Uh, this has... Nice. Keep production high to upgrade in seven months. And we got a lot of fuel sitting here. One thing we could do is run a line going from here down to here to supply Southgate with fuel. Let's buy a couple horse wagons. Graze RT1. Fuel has recovered here. Only 176 production. You have lost production, which means we're not making any money on this line since you're just the freight. Yep, the trucks are going empty. No stone stored. Why? We're only at 24% there. And I'm hoping that this new ship line adjustment that I made Buy another Zoroaster. I'll throw it on there. And we're 30k in debt. Are we going to be able to dig ourselves out of debt? That is the question. That's the question I might leave us with. So far, yeah, I've been spending a lot more than I've been bringing in. I might just have to let it run and not try to spend more. Although it's very tempting, it looks like the quarry has started to produce again. But we have things pretty well set up, although I am tempted to scrap that line like that although it does seem like the quarry construction materials plants do need additional demand this could definitely have issues if we don't send the construction materials elsewhere like maybe Lugger Lugger shall yeah but this how are we doing here over the farm? <laughs> Farm's down to 120 production. There's only 116 potential for livestock. We're only carrying one per vehicle. Go and be sold. that dries up this dries up then this dries up and we don't make as much money and we haven't even started into passage I was hoping that the, the cargo routes that we've set up would make us a decent chunk of money for us to be able to do a variety of different things we have 224k in construction costs 519k in new vehicles. We're 
paying 97.5k in loan interest and 145k in property demands. Income is currently 917 on 655k in running costs. I may have to just let this run and not try to ramp up any more lines. We had 12.3k in construction costs last year, 475k in new vehicles, and I made a loss of 200,000. So yeah, I just might have to let this run. Anyway, what I'll probably do is see you when we get to 1860. I'll let it run about four or five years. And uh, until then, I might as well wrap things up here. I'll just let things run off screen. Maybe tweak some things if necessary, but I do want to get my debt down. You do need to spend money to make money, but at the rate that we're spending money, we might not uh, be able to get out of debt too much because this early game, this interest was a killer. Although once you have your line set up and you're making a profit, you're able to make more than you spend, then it just snowballs from there. Anyway, at this point in time, I'm going to take a break here. We're just going to let this run. I'm still optimistic. On this map, this is probably the best that we can accomplish, at least from the start off with the vehicles that we do have. Hopefully things turn around a bit better and make us a bit more decent profit because I would like to start paying my loans down because that will just reduce how much we're paying in interest and of course it will increase the potential profit over time. We are going to want to think about replacing vehicles out. With that said, probably 1970-ish or 1870 is when we get our first set of new vehicles so we still have some time away. If we were playing on the standard speed, what we would probably be at right now is in the 1870s-ish. We've gone ahead six years and four times slower, that is 24 years. So yeah, we'd be around 1874 by now, but we are not. We're still in 1856 and it's a different way to play. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this episode of Transport Fever. European Free Play Edition. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott Frisbee Gaming. And as always, have a good day.